Oh, hello everybody and welcome to another weekly update. My name is Martin. I'm an Inkscape developer developing features and fixes for everyday Inkscape users. Um, welcome to these updates where I talk about the features, fixes, other things that I've worked on in the Inkscape pro project this week. Um, usually, before I get into the details of what I've been up to, I give a big sh shout out and a th thank you to all of my sponsors. Um, you guys have been amazing this year. So I want to give you an extra special shout out. Um, if you'd like to help, my work here on Inkscape is basically driven by user funding. The idea is, is that a average user doesn't really get to control most open source projects. But for things like Inkscape, they really ought to, right? This is a pro project which should be owned by its users. And that means the users need to be involved in order to pay for not just me, but like any developer who can contribute the code that you yourselves possibly can't or don't have time to contribute yourselves. Um, okay, so into the actual details of what we're ta talking about. We are talking about uh, CMYK in PDFs. Now, I most people kind of get the misunderstanding that Inkscape doesn't support CMYK, and that's not true at all. Um, Inkscape has supported CMYK for a long time but it supported CMYK in SVG. And this is not that useful. Um, it's also important to remember that Inkscape CMYK support is entirely dependent on using ICC color pro profiles. There is no such thing as CMYK without an ICC pro profile in Inkscape. So what do I mean by like Inkscape has always supported CMYK? Why does everybody complain that Inkscape CMYK support isn't good enough. This is because uh, Inkscape doesn't support CMYK in PDFs. And um, this has been the long standing sore point that it's very difficult to get a CMYK SVG and turn it into a CMYK PDF that then your printer can use to accurately produce the graphic that you want print printed out in the real world. Um, unfortunately, this week, I don't have the fantastic news or impossible news that Inkscape has developed a way to faithfully reproduce its SVGs in CMYK ICC supported PDF files, but I have added the ability to open PDF files with CMYK. Um, usually all of the colors in a PDF would be converted to RGB and any color print profiles that were inside of the PDF file would have been thrown away. Um, but I have managed to work out how to incorporate those ICC profiles into the SVG and mark all of the colors that are using that pro profile as basically being ICC pro profile colors. Now, this doesn't help you if your goal is to produce graphics in Inkscape and then export them for print, but it does help you if you have existing PDF files or Adobe Illustrator files and you want to retain the CMYK information, this should allow you to have a much better workflow. And then all we need is that last part, right? The, the CMYK output should then produce the whole workflow, right? So you can then both open PDF files with CMYK, open SVG files with CMYK, which you could already do, uh, and then output CMYK in enabled PDF files, which can then go on to other people. Um, that last step is, is the most difficult part, um, pr probably because it'll involve rewriting Inkscape's entire P PDF output stack, which is, it, it looks like years of work, but you know, you never can tell how big these jobs are going to be until you get to them. Um, so hold, hold on to your hats for that in the future. For now, you can still use the Scriber CMYK exporter, which should still work with this uh, PDF importer. In fact, I've been using Scribers to create CMYK documents for testing. Um, so that's the, that's the exciting news. I'm actually really, really happy with this because it allows me to practice what is in a PDF file when it comes to CMYK, how is the pro profile digested? What does it look like in the SVG file? Do, do these things marry up? Do they produce the same results? And the uh, the good news is that yes, they, they do produce the same results. Um, okay, so that's all of the work that I've been up to. I've basically been doing 
some more font stuff clean up uh this cmyk stuff color profiling more pdf research uh the same thing you've been watching all of these videos these past few weeks so uh, let's get on to the news from inkscape from uh, the this is uh, features and fixes that i didn't do uh because the inkscape project is pretty big uh, the entire Inkscape pro project has basically been gearing up to release 1.2.2 point release, which is due for the 5th of December. The branch has already been tagged. It is basically ready to go. And uh, we're just waiting now for the Vectors team to essentially produce the publication, news reports, etc. for what they, how they want to uh, announce it to the world. Uh, it's got some real, real, really nice fixes. I hope you guys all like it. Um... But yeah, uh, that's about it. There's a few like memory management fixes from some other people, but they're, they're not quite done yet. So we'll talk about them in a future, future video. Um, but that's about it from me. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a few weeks break. Um, I've got, I'm going to continue to work on Inkscape, but uh, the videos are kind of taking up time uh, that I need to spend on both contract work and Inkscape itself. So I will be back in the first week of January, hopefully. And uh, I want to thank thank you all for an excellent year. Um, thank you for your support and your advice and your testing and everything else that you've done to help me make Inkscape better for everybody. And um, yeah, have, have a very good holiday se se season, everybody.